We bought each other 150 mile an hour cars with a budget of 1500 pounds. Will unfortunately bought me a Chrysler Crossfire for 1300 pounds. And Edwin bought me a supposed 285 horsepower Zafira GSI. We found out how much power they had, drag raced them, modified them, and now it's time for the final test. We're headed to a road with no speed limit to see if our cars will do 150 mile an hour. We're in England and we need to get to the de-restricted autobahn in Germany, so that means heading to the English Channel to catch a ferry over to France. We left for the ferry early that morning and everything was going smoothly, but as soon as we touched down in France, Edwin's hideous crossfire developed an issue. Who would have thought that the first problem on this trip so far would be the crossfire, not the Zafira. I've got a bit of a wheel wobble on. I don't like that. Also, to go straight, I am, call it 10.45 p.m. I don't like that. That's not nice. So I think I'm going to need to pull over, jack up the car, because I did bring a little jack, see what something's saying, because I don't like this. So minutes later, just as we arrived in Belgium, we pulled over. I asked Will to come in behind and assess my rear. And he said, you're a bit wobbly, mate. Just gonna jack this guy up, see if, if it's the wheel to the car, if it's the car to the car, or if it's myself impaling myself down the French road. This is ridiculous. What sort of machine is this? You get it, whoa. Yeah, go ahead, Will. No, you, you teach me, mate. Here we go. <laughs> you must send this guy to a <laughs> Spike! Have, have you given up? I had it, I had the you right really did. You had him, lo I can't find it You again. had him locked in and now you don't. How's your car? Great, actually really, really good. I found cruise control. On the end of my indicator stalk, there is a button. I pressed it. I mean, it might not be cruise control. I might have a short circuit in my indicator somewhere, but that's cruise control. I'm pleased with that. I mean, they're all fine. They're all on. That's all fine. That one's good. After I'd checked all the wheel bolts, which seemed fine, I noticed a slight issue with one of the front tires. Well, that might be why. That's a very low tire. The worrying thing is that it wasn't a low tire this morning, so... Can I get a PSI guess? I'm going to say you're at 20. 12. That's not a lot. That's not much, mate. What we'll do, pump it up, drive to Germany, and then before we do a run, we'll check it. Because if it's losing air, don't like that. Tires now correctly inflated, we got back on the road. But before that, Will needed to have an in-depth check on the Zafira's engine. Yep, engine. Let's go. So my steering wheel, that issue is fixed. We've got no more wobble from the steering wheel, so our front half is fine. But I can definitely feel while we're driving a shake from the rear. What that is, I don't know yet. I think it might be a strut because Will says he can see a tiny wobble from the rear wheel. But that is not confidence inspiring to do high speeds on. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on it and see what happens. Because on one hand, I'm not losing to Will. I'm not going less than a car that can only do 137 anyway. He can't even do 150. But on the other hand, I would like to make it home to my family. So we've got to weigh up the options. With the noise seemingly fixed for now, we moved deeper into Belgium. But when we stopped for lunch and Will went to the toilet, I decided to mess with his Zafira. Right, so what I've told Will is that I'm going to put our UK stickers on. Uh, because when you drive in Europe in an English car, you need to have one of these stickers on the back of your car. And we are going to do that. But I might have bought a couple extra stickers for his car too. Right, first things first, my UK sticker. That'll do. Oh, I got an air bubble in it. Oh, quite a lot of air bubbles. Oh, wow, it's shoddy workmanship. Right, right here on the window is going to be one of the most important stickers. That is perfect. I love it. Uh, ben, would you like to have a lucky dip of one of the stickers, please? please. I know which one I want. What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one's a good one. Ready? I like this one a lot. This one is one of my favourites. Just something like that there. I like that one. I think that one has to go better, GSI. Of course. I then, then I think we're thinking the same thing, mate. <laughs> we could be coming up with a new model now. We've got a nice little one, which I think we're going to do. We'll just do a little teaser on this side. We've got one final one. This is perfect. That is fantastic. I couldn't wish for anything more. He's going to love it. Before we test if both of these cars will do 150 mile an hour, we just want to tell you about our sponsor, Car Vertical. Every day, hundreds of cars get crashed, repaired, and put back on the road in an attempt to hide their dodgy history. It even happened to our Vauxhall Zafira. However, with the Car Vertical report, you can find out that past. All you have to do is enter your VIN or your reg number, and Car Vertical will tell you if that car has been crashed, stolen, or clocked. Behind me, we have Will's X5 Daily, and I'd rather be driving that than the Crossfire to Germany. But what's also good is that it has 
green ticks for odometer, finance, and damage. So somehow, Will bought a good car. This Volkswagen up hasn't been so fortunate because we've got a yellow warning for damage. And if we scroll down, we can see it has had a nasty front end smash. If we keep scrolling through the pictures, look, the bonnet is destroyed, the bumper's not attached, both of the headlights are destroyed as well. And if you have a look on the interior pictures, both of the airbags have gone off as well. So if you see this car go back up for sale looking pristine with a car vertical report, you can see this dodgy history. So anytime that you're buying a car, van or motorbike, run a car vertical check, just like we did on the Safira, and make sure that the price you pay for it reflects its history. And to help you out, Car Vertical have offered you 20% off if you use code TDC. Luckily, Will got straight into the car and didn't have time to check out his new additions, so we got back on the road where the stickers continued to be a good source of entertainment for me. <laughs> it's perfect. It's better than I could have ever imagined. It was at that point that the Zafira decided it was its turn to break down. Oh. That's not good. I have no throttle. Uh, I just completely lost throttle then. The car just cut out under boost and I had no throttle. I just had to restart it while I was driving. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is it the car turned off? Yeah, it just completely went off. It just cut out and then throttle wouldn't work at all. That's less than helpful. Should we pull over and have a look at that quickly? Yes, I think that, that might be best. Uh-oh. If this Zafira dies, there's only two seats in this car, and then Ben's in the other one. So Will's walking home. Uh-oh. Get some beans to go and change gear. It, it, it just went... <laughs> and the car just cut out, and I had no revs, and then I thought, okay, I'll just build it back up again. No accelerator pedal, no throttle, no anything. It said, I hear what you're saying, keep it. It's a great suggestion, the <laughs> throttle pedal, but I don't know what that is. Right now, <laughs> couldn't tell you. As I was driving, I was doing like 60, 70, and I just turned it off and on, standard IT move, and uh, it worked. Oh, and now it's back. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna see under here, but. Nothing looks particularly bad. Your belt is still rubbing on that thing. But it's still there. It's still there. That's all you can ask for. I can't see anything wrong with it. It feels, yeah, it's some kind of electrical gremlin, perhaps. I mean, it's, it's curable. I just just turn it off and on again, but it's not, it's not yeah, ideal. Not ideal if we're doing 150. If you're at like 140 and your engine goes like this, it goes, we don't want that. Well, there's nothing I can do, is there? There's really? nothing you can do. I mean, all you can do is pray that the speed tape holds up. Will then went inside to go to the toilet, and when he came back out, he noticed his new stickers. I can see the back of my car. What? Oh, you're joking me. <laughs> <laughs> you are joking. You're joking. No, 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 wait, 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 hang on. When I got overtaken earlier, I got a very angry bib. I thought, oh, maybe it's because he wanted me to move over. No, it's because of that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you like them? This one's great, actually. Where's mum? Mum's not in the picture, Will. This, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get stabbed to death, you know that. We've literally just come through Europe. But it's no longer the Zafira GSI. It's the Brexit GSI. God's sake. I, I, I tell you this to the camera. I promise on my life, Will has never seen these stickers before. And that's genuine. He, he didn't see them. He didn't know about them. He didn't know I put them on. I actually have a sticker for you, but it doesn't matter now because it's not as bad. Your sticker's actually quite good. It's actually quite helpful. It could be quite jolly and fun for you. Oh. I'm going to get stabbed. You're going to get off with my sticker. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can put that one wherever you like. So an upside down pineapple means you are interested in activities with other, um, you know, those kind of folk. Edwin might have some fun tonight. I'm going to get stabbed in the head. <laughs> <laughs> No! Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, if you can actually make out what that says, that says <sighs> Sports, Sports Mind. Mind sticker. Powered by AMG Performance, because this is, of course, this is the AMG engine, right? Oh my god. For context, people put Sports Mind sticker on everything, and it usually says Sports Mind powered by sports. It's just a generic sticker, and I hate them so much. No! Oh, uh. That's just lovely. Americans in the UK love this. Goddamn small engines. I've got a tiny engine there. Only milk and juice <laughs> come oh, in two litres. No. That is what you call American muscle. 
You, you've come off better here. No, I was about to say, I genuinely think, for me, that's more embarrassing than those. You're gonna have sweaty old men knocking on your hotel door tonight. I'm gonna have seven German men. So, I think we're up to the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the guy across the hall and we just kicked his head in. <laughs> also, unless your car is a 15 litre tank. Yeah, don't, don't, don't put this let's on. not. I absolutely hate this. Oh, dear, look at that. You know, it's much funnier when it was just your car. Yeah, but this is in lightheartedness. Mine is going to get me killed. <laughs> I have to go through three European countries. Whatever happens, if I roll over in a car crash and die, I'll die happy. For God's sake! Will, you absolute bastard. When my spoiler comes up now, all I can see in my rearview mirror is a reversed only milk and juice come in two litres. Oh no, that's a shame. That's obviously way worse than the awful things that I've got on mine. I feel really bad. With Edwin over the moon with his new modifications and the Zafira now seemingly running okay again, we made some progress deeper into Belgium. But as we reached Antwerp, we hit some nasty traffic, which the Zafira wasn't a fan of. Um, I am overheating. I just got a little message from Edwin while I was in traffic there and it was smoking. Holy moly! Antwerp will do that to a man. Sometimes you just got to let off a bit of steam. Sometimes you get a bit pent up and you go, ah! At least we haven't got another 25 minutes of traffic. Oh, to get much through. more than that. Yeah, a bit, bit more than that. So I think what's going to happen now is we wait here until that calms down. Uh, Can I come with you? Ben, please feel free Let's to jump go. in, mate. Cheers, Will. Look, that's what happened to the last YouTubers that pulled wow, over here. Wow, that's mash! Are you feeling good about your uh, 150 mile hour run? Just... It's so lovely, because Edwin has bought me such a lovely gift. But I like this spot, this is nice. We waited for the Zafira to cool down and then got back on the road with Will carefully monitoring its temp gauge. Right, so update, the Zafira has overheated in traffic. We've let it cool down and we're gonna see if we can get through it because currently we are in Antwerp, which is statistically the worst place in the world ever if you'd like to make progress in a motor vehicle. I've driven here hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. I've never not sat in traffic and his car can't handle that. Right, so yes, it did overheat. We let it cool down. We've topped it up with water now. It's holding that coolant for now, uh, but we do have lots more traffic to go. So I'm gonna start it, drive as fast as I possibly can and try and keep it cool. I'm gonna try and turn the engine off as much as I can while I'm in traffic, get some momentum up, roll like this. How's it doing, Will? What's the, what's the coolant temp saying? Excellent right now. The engine is off. I'm in hybrid mode. We have actually got a nice little hill all the way into the tunnel here, but you tell me when you want a little push and maybe I'll give you a push. That might be very, very useful. Thank you. You know, just got all the talk from my V6 motor. I can push you in. A little nudge away from here when we move would be useful. That would save me a little bit of engine. Absolutely, I've got you. This is great. This works. <laughs> this is excellent. Why haven't we been doing this the whole time? This is incredible. Here you go. Off you go, mate. There you go. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. See you. This is great. The only thing I am thinking is that it's ruining my airflow. So I might start overheating in a minute, in which case we'll need to swap and then you can push me for a bit. You scratch my back, I will scratch yours. Into the Gotthard tunnel we go. No sides to break down, no places to pull in. We've got to hope that we just make it through here now. And I promise you, I promise you, despite what's happening, Will is still going to do a pull and a pop and bang in this tunnel. I guarantee it with my life that it happens. Just you watch. <laughs> Now we'd cleared the mind-numbing Antwerp traffic, the Zafira was much happier. So we pushed on ahead out of Belgium, briefly through the Netherlands, and arrived just into Germany, where it was finally time to see if our tired old cars were able to hit the magic 150 mile an hour. William, I believe we are now in de-restricted territory. Would you like to see what our cars can do? Yes! See you at 150, bitch! with me. Okay, roughly 120, I think that was so far. Go on, Crossfire. Come on. Come on. 130. <laughs> Seven. 
paint. I'm letting off there. I've got a bit of wheel wobble. I don't like it. For now, that's all I'm looking at, 140. Can I get a speed check, Will? I have a 137 miles an hour. The exact original top speed of the car. Now, did it feel like it could do more or is that all it's got? There's at least 13 miles an hour in that for sure. You think you've got the 150? I will need all of the luck in the world, I think. I need a big downhill and a very open stretch. Well, I still feel like I have a bit of a wheel wobble and I don't like it. So I got out of it at 140 is the last number I saw. It's getting dark. So I think we head back to the hotel. I'm gonna do some work on the car. And then in the morning we have one more attempt because one of us has got to hit 150, surely. So we hadn't hit 150 mile an hour yet, but we did realize that almost half of you watching have forgotten to subscribe. So if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to ensure that you see every future TDC video. That night after Will had gone to bed, I spent a while diagnosing my wheel wobble and tightening up as many bolts as I could find, ready for the morning's fresh top speed attempt. We got up at 5am the next morning to try and beat the morning traffic, but when I arrived at my crossfire, I discovered that Will had vandalised it in the night. Worse than that though, he'd vandalised himself. Good morning! What <laughs> are you wearing? That explains, yeah. You've seen them? Yeah, I have. I was perplexed, but that is the complete look. I had to do something to get 140, that's my target for today, and this yeah. is it. But I've got something for you as well. <laughs> I'll admit, it's not actually Chrysler branded, but it was the closest thing I could find. You know what? I'm now streamlined to 150. <laughs> the car is warm. The wheels and the tires and the pressures have all been checked. We're on for it this morning. I feel the power of America is with me and Germany, both of them together working in harmony. On to the Autobahn we go. My repairs last night have immeasurably improved this already. It is already feeling much more smooth. It was time for our second 150 mile an hour attempt, although there was a problem. Despite it only being 6.30 a.m., the roads were already busier than they were the night before, which made our attempts very tricky. Come on, Crossfire. Oh, it's looking busy. Oh, it's just too much traffic. 100 traffic. It's not happening. I really want to beat 137 miles an hour. I can feel it. It's got, it, it has it in it. It can do it. Let's go. This might be the only clean run we get. Go on. 35. No, we've got traffic. Oh, no. I don't think we're going to get a run in here. I don't know that we're going to get anything here. I cannot believe it. After a while, a small stretch of road cleared and it was our chance to give it a proper go. Will's behind me. He's got a run on me. 120. I'm going to need Edwin to move. 120. I'm going to move over for Will. We're going. We're going. We're going. Come on, little crossfire. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is downhill. This is it. 140. Come on. That's almost 140. 140! Yeah! <laughs> no! We've got traffic! No! I think a little bit of slipstreaming and a big downhill and I cracked 140! There it is! Talk to me, what was that? I cracked 140 miles an hour! Yes! I told you it was not a 137 mile an hour car. It is a 140 mile an hour car. And your speed? I got to 144. Ooh. <laughs> I'm more than 100% sure that it will do the 150. It just needs a run. All this excitement quickly faded though, as just moments later, the Zafira developed quite a big problem. Cool, that's just cut out. And again. Please, please. Oh, he's got again! But then it got much worse. I am just rolling now. I am just powered by gravity alone. I'm just going to pull into a truck stop or a lay-by or something and see if this will start again. The news wasn't good. Ah. Hello. <laughs> will, what happened, mate? We were just on the motorway over there. Now we're in uh, someone's back garden. 
I thought, you know, maybe one more run before the traffic and it cut out and now it's just dead. What, nothing? Nothing. Did you get 150 mile an hour? I got 144. No. So and there's too much traffic now to do it. Yeah. So 1,500 pounds, 150 mile an hour, it's not possible. You can't buy it. You cannot it, do 150 mile an hour. 140? You, not all a problem. Day. Not a problem at all. So if you want to see where we modified these cars, you can see that here. And we will see you next week. Um, How are we getting home? Someone's got a shotgun in the crossfire. Cheers, Will. Yeah, cheers. Thank you, yes. mate. No, 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 please.